I'm Cindy Ivey. I'm a department chair with Proximity Learning, and I've been teaching science now since January 2007, so a long time. <laughs> One of the questions that we get a lot here at Proximity is, how do you do labs? I asked that question when I started, so I totally understand if that's your question. There are three ways that we do labs, and I've tried all of them, and they're fantastic. Okay, so for science classes where you're working with hazardous materials or chemicals, that sort of thing. Even when I was in the brick and mortar classroom, we were starting to move towards virtual labs, right? They just keep your students safer. They ex uh, explain concepts at a molecular level. They make it really simple for students to work with dangerous substances without getting hurt. Um, also great for biology students who don't really want to dissect something, right? So virtual labs are a fantastic way uh, to do that. Let me share with you some things that you can do in a virtual lab. So here's an example. When you open it up, it would look like this. There's an introduction section for the teacher so that you can show what each item looks like. You can talk about it. You can show graphs. Um, you can show uh, titration levels. You can show um, electrolysis or conductivity. So there's, you know, there's a variety of ways that you could present the information here, depending on how you're teaching acids and bases, whether you're teaching to physics students, chemistry students, or physical. Students. 